The allegations against the Super Eagles coach, Salisu Yusuf, are grave. He's seen receiving payment in a secretly recorded footage that surfaced recently. The journalists who shot the video claim he was being paid to field specific players during the 2018 Chan tournament. And 15% would be paid to him should the unnamed players be signed up by a football club. Yusuf denies all the claims and says the money paid to him was a gift with no strings attached. At the end of the video, he's heard saying player selection is based on performance. His employers, Nigeria's Football Federation, says investigation into the allegations would be carried out before any action. Probably give him, make room for fair hearing, room to hear from him. But if the evidence that was adduced from the, from the uh, camera or from an investigation, anything to go by, I think it's something that is very incriminating because a proposal was laid on the table and then at the end of the day, something has changed hands, no matter how little it is. Yusuf is currently in the UK undergoing treatment for hip injury. Before the allegations, he was scheduled to lead the Super Eagles campaign for 2019 alongside German tactician Janot Rohr. He is the most respected Nigerian coach among the Super Eagles coaching team. He faces an outright dismissal from the national team and a potential ban. Every federation needs to be worried by that allegation. Why? Because he is the chief coach of the national team. He is the chief coach of the home base Eagles, Super Eagles Team B. He is the chief coach of the under 23 team. And for him to be embroidered in uh, allegations of uh, corruption or bribery is something that should worry any federation. Yusuf Salisu is a powerful man in Nigerian football. He was instrumental to Nigeria's qualification campaign in the just concluded World Cup. Before that, he won a silver in Morocco at the 2018 African Championship for home-based players. His dismissal could deal a big blow to Nigeria's 2019 AFCON campaign. Kelechi Amekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.